Welcome everybody, Nicholas Nat here with Nat Fitness Method and I'm excited to talk to you today because as you guys know you're here because you probably believe in nutrition, fitness, exceeding past your physical limits, something of that nature. However, you also know that exceeding past your physical nature is not just about going and having goals and working hard and, and having different strategies. It is about intentionality. It's about setting up yourself for success. And so that's exactly what I wanna to talk to you about. Setting yourself up for success today in your fitness goals. Now, many of you know exactly what it is you wanna do and others of you are on the complete opposite spectrum and you might be in a position where you have no idea what you wanna do. You know that you just maybe have some fat you wanna get off, you're supposed to be fit. Your mom says you should get up and do something, I don't know. And so what I really wanna talk about is not so much the intentionality principle of figuring that out, that's obviously uh, goes without being said, but I wanna to talk to you about comfortability. And the reason I wanna talk about comfortability is because I believe that it's so easy, it's so simple to get typecast, right? Now we talk about typecast, and if we refer to that in the common way that people use that, which is in Hollywood or for acting, really what we're talking about is that a person gets fitted in a specific role, and that's pretty much the only thing that they do. Well, what's actually funny about that is that that same thing happens in very uh, uh, fitness or, or in everyday life, right? What ends up happening is that you see people go through these different modules and principles and they work hard and they do that well and they execute that, they become masterful, and that's great. But it is my belief that the more you step outside of your comfort zone, the more uh, experience you're gonna get. You see, what you guys have to understand is that it's not doing something very well that makes you great. It's having multiple experiences, finding out strengths and weaknesses, and really cultivating a lifestyle around the things that have the potential to make you better that actually do that. That's what leads to growth. And so, I wanna share a story with you. I was having a conversation. As you guys know, I'm a bodybuilder. I train lots of athletes. If you have any interest in that, you guys can definitely go check out uh, www.natfitness.com and look at my 90-day uh, transformation page. I like that little plug there. But uh, the cool part that I had a chance to talk yesterday with a bodybuilder, and he was basically asking like, hey man, you've done some great things in the past you know, what's the next goal? And I feel like that's a very common question for anybody who's in the industry. If you're an athlete, you probably, you know, reconnect at sporting events or trade shows, whatever it might be, and you connect with other people and they always wanna know what's the next thing for you. As well as, I, I like that concept because it does talk about intentionality and focus, like, hey, are you continuing to push yourself? Are you getting outside of that comfort zone? Are you continuing to go? What I told this young man was, I don't know. And the reason I don't know is because this whole year, uh, 2018, I've really been focused on opening up my uh, fitness level. As you guys know, I came from a, a very dynamic sports background where I did a lot of basketball, I did a lot of track, I did a lot of football, I did some other uh, things and, 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 and mobility, range of motion, athleticism was such a huge part of that and I've been exploring that. Now, having said that, yeah, I still obviously compete and um, you know, there's opportunity for me to possibly take on a show that has yet to be said. Shh. But at the same time, I, I really wanna make sure that I'm diversifying my craft because I set a higher standard for myself and that higher standard is to be able to do things that people would typecast in one event or another. So over here, I have this goal about being able to do something physically regarding strength that I've never been able to do before. And a lot of people would say, well, that's very contradictory to the athletic or the performance goal that you have over here, which doesn't have anything to correlate. And my specific vision is without, you know, lack of better words, why limit yourself? Why limit yourself? Why would you say, well, in order to be able to do this, you have to look a certain way and dress a certain way and live a certain type of a lifestyle, even though science can indicate that because on the same notion, what has already been scientifically proven is that it's very simple. Build fast twitch muscle fibers, eat a very healthy alkaline diet, make sure that you produce a lot of lean skeletal muscle tissue through the intentionality of making sure that you get adequate protein sources and you know limit the stress in your life get good sleep like being able to do those things is going to take you a long time but why, you know, we're, 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 we're athletes in general so i want to make sure that you guys understand that because getting to a place and this is the key point getting to a place where you focus only on one thing 
is not necessarily going to help you reach optimal potential. Getting outside of your comfort zone, challenging yourself, and doing things that you wouldn't necessarily like to do could expand you. I had another conversation at this same event with a good friend of mine, and not to name drop, but his name is Jared. I won't tell his last name. And he talked about being in a position where he's starting to run again. He's starting to run. And what's funny about that is he and I came up around the same time, both in physique and bodybuilding. And when he was competing, he hardly ever run, and he would just go through these same principles that many times uh, many of us bodybuilders or many people just in general in the fitness industry end up doing because we just focus on that range of, of fitness. And he's like, I feel better. I'm dropping weight. My range of motion, my lower back doesn't hurt. And he's actually seeing an increase in all the typical hypertrophy training that he's been able to do because of an increase in VO2 max. Now, a lot of you might say, what does that have to do with fitness? I've never heard of that before. Go back and check your research and figure out if your body's in a position where it can consume and hold more oxygen in type two, uh, or sorry, in the uh, skeletal muscle tissue, you're gonna have more uh, use of your type two muscle fiber. And that is essential if you guys are interested in building power or being able to actually develop uh, strength or increase your strength. And so my take home message here is that being comfortable is going to handicap you. Getting out and only doing things that you feel like doing are going to handicap you. It's going to handicap your mindset. It's going to handicap your training. It's going to handicap your way of thinking and being open to different perspectives because ultimately being exposed to things that you might not have ever done is going to open up doors for you. It's going to expose you to different people and experiences that are going to open up the window for allow you to have the opportunity for growth. Taking the risk is actually where you're going to see adversity meet you, but that's what allows for you to be better. And getting outside of that comfort zone voluntarily becomes a challenge. And what's been scientifically proven is that pain is a necessity if you're trying to grow. The best version of pain that's going to bring and manifest the results that we love the most as humans or is challenge. Adversity, struggle, suffering, trauma, a lot of those things are undesirable and they happen whether we're aware of it or obviously, you know, if we don't sign up for it as people. But if you're continually, intentionally challenging yourself, you are inviting that pain into your life and it is meant to do only one thing, push you outside of that comfort zone. And if you do that well, if you do that consistently, if you do that voluntarily, you are going to win. You're going to win eventually. You're going to see breakthroughs in your body. You're going to get outside of your comfort zone and you're going to be an inspiration in the same way of the people, of the things that you see that inspire other people. And so I really want you to look at what is available to you, what's available out there in the world, and ask yourself, what is it that you wanna be masterful at, and what is it that you're good at, what is it you're not good at? Start from there, challenge yourself, and I would love to connect with each and every one of you and hear about one of these things, either ideas, or some of these things that you're going to try, or some of these things that maybe you've already tried for yourself. Um, I will hope to share with you guys about something near the end of 2018 that's going to be taking place in 2019 regarding some of my own goals. And so let's uh, buzz about the community. If you guys have any questions, I'm going to loop some social media. I'm available on Instagram, Facebook, and also on YouTube. You guys can connect with me, as I said before, at www.natfitness.com. Till then, my friends, get uncomfortable, be legendary, and as always, remember that success in anything you do starts with a mindset.